नमस्ते लेट अस वर्क आउट द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इन द फाइनल अकाउंट्स ऑफ सोल रीडिंग कंसर्न्स हियर द क्वेश्चन इज गिवन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन हैज अपीयर्ड इन द सेमेस्टर एग्जाम ऑफ मैंगलोर यूनिवर्सिटी प्रिपेयर ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट ऑफ ऐश्वर्या लिमिटेड फॉर द ईयर एंडिंग थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसंबर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन फ्रॉम द इन्फॉर्मेशन गिवन बिलो सो दे हैव गिवन सम इन्फॉर्मेशन सो वॉट वी आर सपोज टू डू वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट we need not prepare balance sheet so let us take only those items which comes in trading and profit and loss account okay now one by one you just guess capital whether it comes in trading and profit and loss account no it goes to balance sheet right so we are not taking stock on 11 2017 that means opening stock this will come in trading account cash goes to balance sheet debtors asset balance sheet purchases purchases comes in trading account sales trading account returns see here they haven't mentioned sales return or purchase return but they have given the figures in both the sides so return which return is debited and which return is credited see return means it is nothing but the goods returned See, in the case of purchase return, what happens? We are purchasing certain goods and we are returning it back. So, goods are going out. Okay, goods or purchases or sales, whatever it is, it is a real account. So, when it goes out, what happens? It should be credited. So, returns three thousand is credit. That means this is purchase return. Always remember, this is purchase return. Three thousand. What about one thousand? Return one thousand. That means returns goods are returned to us. That means sales return. We have sold the goods and they have returned returned it to us. So goods have come in. So goods or sales or purchases, whatever it is, it is a real account. So it comes in. It should be debited. So this is. The sales returns. Here, yeah, one thousand is sales return, three thousand is a purchase return. Next, freight. It comes in the trading account. So returns come. Then freight. It appears in the trading account. Salaries, profit and loss account. Wages, trading account. Outstanding wages. See, this is very important point. In the case of outstanding expenses. you have to see whether it is given in the trial balance or in the adjustment so usually uh, outstanding prepaid all those items will be given in the adjustment so you know adjustment means what it is a new entry and there are two effects so one thing what you are writing outstanding wages you are adding to the wages then second thing you are writing outstanding wages on the liability side of the balance sheet this is a usual thing right but in this problem they have given only outstanding wages only in the trial balance so when they give outstanding wages in the trial balance we have to write only once where we have to write whether we have to add in the uh, whether we have to add uh, outstanding wages to the wages in the trading account or we have to show it as a liability in the balance sheet we have to show it as a liability because for the next year people should know right there are outstanding wages for the previous year so when always remember when outstanding expenses are given in the trial balance it has to be recorded only on the liability side of the balance sheet so it goes to the balance sheet so we are not writing so we are not writing outstanding wages in the profit and loss account or trading account then rent rent we are writing in the profit and loss account then creditors balance sheet miscellaneous receipts so this is a gain gain comes in the profit and loss account credit side so they have given credit balance also so drawings it appears in the balance sheet furniture balance sheet asset depreciation on furniture so usually what happens this also you have to take into consideration this point depreciation usually given in the adjustment so it appear twice one you have to write in the profit and loss account 
as depreciation and another effect is in the balance sheet you are writing the asset less depreciation correct so it appears twice but if depreciation given only in the trial balance then only one effect so i told you uh, when there is outstanding or prepaid expenses or income we have to write directly to the uh, we have to write in the balance sheet right but there is exception for only depreciation because depreciation is not an actual charge right depreciation is charged in order to replace the asset after so many years so every year we are keeping a part of our profit as depreciation then once the lifetime of the asset uh, is over at that time we are buying a new asset with that amount depreciation amount okay so here what happens depreciation on furniture it is not an actual charge so but we have to keep it from the profit so we have to write in the profit and loss account understood the logic depreciation only depreciation if it is given only in the trial balance we have to take in the profit and loss account we should not take this in the balance sheet because only one only one time we have to write only one time we have to write because it it is appearing in the trial balance not in the adjustment then sundry expenses yes we are writing because these are the general expenses bills receivable it is an asset so we are not supposed to write in the trading and profit and loss account it comes in the balance sheet then insurance insurance we are writing because it is an expense see here prepaid insurance i told you the same thing prepaid insurance usually it will be given in the adjustment two times you have to write one time profit and loss account insurance insurance less prepaid then on the asset side you are showing prepaid insurance correct but if it is given only in the trial balance we have to write only once only once and it has to be written in the balance sheet so prepaid insurance won't appear in the profit and loss account we should not write this in the profit and loss account clear discount so discount to both the sides they have given no so it is discount received as well as discount paid or discount allowed you know discount received means what it is income so credit side whatever is there that is discount received and debit side if there is any discount balance that is on the debit side itself you have to write then carriage inwards inward means what while purchasing the raw materials or the things like that then we have to paying the then we have to pay the carriage we are paying the carriage and we have to write in the trading account so discount okay discount appears carriage inward appear income tax see income tax is paid on the income of the proprietor owner so it has nothing to do with the business profit and loss so we should not take this we should not take income tax see they have paid income tax from the business still it is considered as drawings because for the proprietor's use correct so we are not supposed to take this carriage outwards so we are giving the carriage while selling the products so it is a part of profit and loss account then commission commission is an expense we have to take this bad debts recovered so bad debts recovered is an ex income see credit side you have to write in the profit and loss account clear okay let us prepare trading in profit and loss account for the year ending 31st december 2017 so opening stock first we have to write you know the format we have studied the format right opening stock purchases less purchases returns i told you that time purchases return always shows credit balance in the trial balance okay then wages outstanding wages we are not writing because only once it has to appear that is in the balance sheet carriage inwards we are writing freight we are writing so by sales less sales returns sales return always show debit balance we are writing 189000 closing stock see one more thing you should remember closing stock if it is given you have to see whether it is given in the uh, trial balance or adjustment 
it is given in the adjustment right so it appear twice so closing stock we can write here okay otherwise we have to write only in the balance sheet if it is given in the trial balance but 99.99 percent they will give in the adjustment itself but you should know okay closing stock then we have to uh, make the total of both the sides to lakh eleven thousand and balancing figure will be the gross profit balancing figure comes on the um, debit side so this is the balancing figure on the debit side 77,800 so this is considered as gross profit gross profit by gross profit brought down you are writing here then all the expenses you are supposed to write two salaries two rent two depreciation on furniture two sundry expenses two insurance see prepaid nothing we are taking here because it goes directly to the balance sheet discount allowed carriage outwards right miscellaneous on the credit side all the income you know profit and loss account debit side all the expenses credit side all the incomes incomes with revenue uh, like revenue nature miscellaneous receipts okay discount received discount allowed we are writing here discount received see discount is same thing if it is debit balance write on the debit side credit balance on the credit side because it is nominal account right and uh, in the profit and loss account also we are following the same rule commission received income bad debts uh, recovered income so we are writing on the credit side so make the total of both the sides 81200 and the balancing figure will be the net profit this should be transferred to balance sheet clear thank you